Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we have talked about these uh, different uh, uh, the theoretical models uh, and the uh, leaders for tomorrow that is what are what is what are the attributes are required and how to develop the leaders for tomorrow and we have taken certain industry examples also um, what are their practices now we will talk about the attribute of the person uh, these leader uh, in attributes uh, like last time the uh, the first uh, parameter which was very very important and that parameter was uh, about about the internality and when we talk about the internality that is about the grand vision and competency of that particular leader that, that is the how how this uh, 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 that uh, uh, great leadership can can be developed uh, what attributes are required so in uh, in this session we will talk about the great man theory interpersonal effectiveness uh, leadership attributes uh, core self evaluation self monitoring proactive personality uh, leadership requirement model uh, as usual the case study research papers and the book recommendations will be there so when we talk about the watch your thoughts for they become words uh, watch your words for they become actions watch your actions for they become uh, habits watch your habits for they become character and watch your character for it becomes your destiny is there so ultimately it is a question of your thought process right so and uh, as uh, i always mention that is the how the thought process are influenced thought process are influenced by the heredity environment and situation so create a, uh, that environment in which you are able to learn so first uh, uh, how this great man theory is uh, relevant for this particular concept the earliest leadership theory is the great man theory came to light in the 19th century it was attributed to a historian named thomas carley who developed it as a great extent he believed that the history of the world is the biography of the great man is there one of the earliest leadership theories uh, uh, in in this uh, gretman's theory uh, the leadership suggests that uh, some people are born to lead and uh, great leaders cannot be made because the leaders qualities are in it uh, we we have talked about this thing in the our very earlier sessions that is what is about uh, uh, this uh, the whether the leaders are born or leaders are made whenever we are talking about that is the leader leaders are made then uh, definitely in that case uh, uh, we we are, we are talking about this theories this classroom teaching and, and and the work experience also are the experiential learning you can say and therefore in that case uh, this uh, great man theory suggests that they they are they are born to lead is there and uh, cannot be made because leadership qualities are innate you know so that char characteristics are like you know, like for example the charismatic characteristics we have talked about that charisma charismatic leadership then the transactional leadership and transformational leadership uh, so th that has to be developed intelligence of the individual political skills and the wisdom and, and some of the natural qualities of a successful leader are there and therefore in that case whenever we are talking about uh, Uh, this particular uh, uh, theory and so this theory centers on two main assumptions the first is every great leader is born with traits and uh, that prepare them to rise and lead right so this is a uh, in the support of the trait theories so inborn leadership qualities are enough for individuals to exercise the influence over others uh, uh, you see from the childhood only hmm? Uh, like whenever we are talking about the that Chanakya has selected the Chandragupta, how he has selected the Chandragupta, and then we talk about that is the from the observation where the he has found those traits, traits have been found. So in the Chandragupta is outcome of the uh, uh, trait theories and the contingency theory, situations theory, where the environment was provided and skills have been developed. so here the people become the great leaders when and they and there is a need so uh, here the individuals become leaders when they respond to critical situations 
and the Gretman theory examples include the, the torch bearers of the Indian independence uh, movement huh? and from that is uh, Lala Rajput Rai to any Vicent, various leaders uh, those who have been championed the nation's cause is there. So, these are the people who get leaders when there is a need. So, uh, there was a demand demand of that environment, that situation, they, they, that particular timings, uh, they where uh, that is the uh, uh, where they, they have to perform, somebody has to come forward and should, uh, should prove that leadership and therefore, this great man theory of leadership emerged uh, during a time when society was ruled by the royal families and the aristocrats and that is why uh, there was a demand of this type of leaders was raised and uh, as a result of which you will find that is uh, some of the earliest research only looks at a section of society. So, therefore, they have seen uh, that is the those who are from the royal families, how they have become the leaders and they have seen those who, who are challenging uh, uh, this uh, type of these uh, systems. So, um, why they, they, they were the uh, uh, challenging uh, leaders and then they have converted into a successful leaders. So, the theory presents several limitations including the following myths and assumptions with little logic to back it. So, there they are certain myths and logic also that is the whether the, the king's son will become the king. It does not consider the external environment situations that often influence human behavior and attitudes are there. So, there is not any guarantee that a person with all leadership qualities uh, will eventually become a successful leader. Huh? So, even uh, having the traits is there. So, to for example, producer or writer is an important as a director to make a movie a, uh, to a uh, success. So, therefore, it ignores the contribution of others who drove a leader to success. So, uh, here that is why when we are, to, we are connecting the team effectiveness with the le leadership, it becomes very important that is the others contribution. Those who have contributed uh, for that leaders uh, uh, they, as, a, as a team members that, that is creating the success for a particular leader. So, interpersonal effectiveness, the interpersonal effectiveness is the capability of an individual to do this and influence others uh, competently, you know, these, these are the traits of the leaders are there. So, how, how we are developing this effectiveness? Effectiveness is developed with the ability of the person that is that, that is about the knowledge, attitude, skills and habits right that is the what type of these uh, knowledge level he is having, what type of attitude is he is having, the skills he is having and the habits he is having. Then the commitment is there and when we are talking about this commitment then that, that is loyalty. Right. And uh, here uh, whenever we are we are creating uh, this uh, commitment uh, amongst the team members definitely effectiveness has to be there. And uh, the, the third one is about the ability is there. So, this is the third element of the interpersonal effectiveness that is the are you aware if you are you if you are aware about uh, uh, the surroundings uh, you if you are aware, aware about the environment you are aware about the people those who are working with you and those who, those the, the people those who are working with you if they are equally competent enough then definitely they will be able uh, able to perform here we will find that that is this uh, awareness is a state of consciousness is there and uh, uh, how, why why, why some people uh, consciousness means where why there are some people those who are with the surroundings and they are able to sensitize. The sensitivity of the individual is different and uh, when we, from individual to individual it is different. So, in the same environment right you will find even same family you will find it is the uh, eldest child is having the more sensitivity as compared to the younger child. So, therefore, a state of consciousness is becoming the uh, in influencing, influencing the leadership quality. It is the ability to recognize yourself, others, events and situation in real time. Now, now the self-awareness, self-awareness is becoming very, very important. If you are aware about your, your strengths and weaknesses and you also know the strengths and weaknesses of others, then only you can create a team. It is a development process that is a function of experience communication, self discovery and feedback is there. So, therefore, whatever the situation is there and uh, in that uh, given situation how you are responded. So, that is called the self discovery. If you are if you are recovered uh, yourself uh, uh, as a challenging taskmaster, as a leader uh, in the simple words you can say as a leader then definitely you, you can lead your team. Another important point is about that is about your ex experience. So, experience what type of the experience do you have? If you have that experience to lead uh, over the challenges then definitely you will be more successful.
ability ability to learn and understand technical issues is the basis of our careers is there so uh, I'll, i always uh, emphasize on this that is the we uh, we, we have to be very careful uh, to learn learning and understanding and what is about technical issues? Technical issues here I would like to mention that is about the job knowledge. So, whenever you are talking about the job knowledge, so that is becoming the learning and understanding the technical issues. If you are having the strong job knowledge, nobody can uh, uh, defeat you. Ability to lead is a function of influence, but this technical skills with the HR skills. And what is the influence? Influence is bas basically is HR skill. If you are going into the HR skill, so what are job knowledge is there, you will be able to communicate and you will be able to resolve the conflicts also. So, because as a negotiator, as a negotiator you will be successful, you know give and take. So, in the communication whenever you are offering some, uh, some services to uh, other person and in return you are gaining certain services, then that is the uh, in this process if there is any conflict, you are able, able to resolve a particular conflict. Ability to solve problems and make decisions. So, therefore, in that case uh, you will be able to make uh, the, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the previous session I have mentioned who is a leader who provides the solutions to the problems. So, if you are able to solve the problems, then definitely you will, you will be, be the uh, great leader. As a member of a team, we influence others in a collaborative effort to find better ideas or the solve the problems are there. So, those collaborative efforts are to be made by the individuals uh, and uh, when, uh, when they are connected with each other and then, then, then they are putting the joint efforts always. The uh, whenever we are talking about the leader, leader is not it is alone he is doing everything. Leader is always followed by the followers and that followers are his team members and when the team members are strong, they are relevant, then definitely in that case he will be able to influence and then, then he will be able, able to solve the problems are there. The commitment for leaders is uh, that is the uh, once committed, always committed. So, one thing that leads to maturity is the fully aware negotiation uh, recognition that one's decision make a difference both positively and negatively in the lives of others is there. So, therefore, uh, what is the maturity level? We also talk the maturity level in the case of the Hessian Blanchard's model and where we are talking about the maturity level of the followers that what maturity level is there. If you are fully aware about the maturity level of your followers, then definitely you can take a decision and the decision will be having the both the positive and negatives uh, in, 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 in the lives of the others. So, uh, uh, if the maturity level is low, then definitely in that case what you will do that you will be getting the more uh, uh, the uh, efforts to raise the maturity level or if it is the negative is there, you will take the decision accordingly. Any attempt to solve a problem might have a decided negative impact uh, uh, on some while helping others is there. This is always a um, uh, the uh, criteria right that is the uh, whenever you are solving the problem it will have the positive effect on one side and negative effect on the other side. So, uh, whether to take a decision or not yes we are supposed to take the decision, but how then this decision is uh, making the difference decision is that those who are non contributors they will be the negative effect and those who are the positive uh, uh, contributor then they it, it should have the positive effect on that. So, what are the di different leadership attributes are there uh, which ca causing a person to be a successful. So, inner or personal qualities uh, that is the constitutes effective leadership is there and that is the internality. Internality is required to be very, very strong. These attributes include a large area of the characteristics such as value, character, motives, habits, traits, styles, behavior and skills are there. So, you, you, you have to focus on the, the, the value system of the leader. Why? Because it, he is driven, driven by his values. So, effective leaders utilize different ways to lead a group, some maintains a low profile, but are analytical, some are charismatic and intuitive, there is no single leadership attribute that is the effective in all situations and the effectiveness of a leadership style depends on the nature of situation which it faces and that is why we have studied earlier uh, that situational theories. So, according to situation theories you have to adopt the leadership styles, so leader has to be flexible, leadership will not be the common for all, as the situation changes the leadership style will changes. So, first and foremost uh, the leadership attribute is the guiding the vision because ultimately what is the leadership? Leadership is the creation of 
vision. So, effective leaders know what they want to do and have the strength of character to pursue their objectives in the face of opposition and in spite of failures. So, therefore, it, it, it is leaders are very clear what their vision is very clear, goal is very clear that what they want to do. So, you will not find them in con they, are, they are confused or they are lacking into the performance because they know after this step what will be going to be the next step is there. So, have the strength of character to pursue their objectives in the face of opposition. So, even if there is an opposition for making their new movements, uh, what, what, what will be, what, what is their strength? Strength is of their character. So, nobody can uh, tell them. The effectively establishes the achievable goals. Uh, this is also very, very important. That is the goals. Uh, when, when you are driving the followers, the followers should feel that yes, they can achieve the goals. If it is impossible goals are there, then definitely the followers motivation will be low. Second is the patient. Effective leaders believe passionately in their goals. They have a positive outlook on how they are and they love what they do. Their passion for life is a guiding star for others to follow because they radiate the promises there. And therefore, in that case, the passion that is the love, love for that goal, that is very important. It, it, it is not the official uh, burden, rather than it is the individual, individual passion is important. And when the individual is having that passion, he will be definitely follow that particular goal till it is not achieved. Integrity, because they know who they are, effective leaders are also aware of their weaknesses. They only make promises they can follow through on and this is uh, um, very important. I have learned from my first uh, experience in the commission mill where I was labor officer. My boss told me that is the say yes if it is possible, say no uh, uh, even if it is the more problematic. So, therefore, when you are interacting with the unions or the workers uh, and are any, any employee who is uh, having the demand and then you feel that is no, you cannot fulfill the demand and then you have to say the no, then in that case say no. It is not that is the uh, we are manipulating or we are playing politics and then we say yes, do not do that. Trust is there, effectively leaders earn the trust of their followers and act on behalf of their followers. Honesty, an aura of honesty in both their professional and their personal life. The people understand how much honest you are, people are working with you, so therefore uh, they, they will understand, uh, they know whether, whether the, your decisions, they, you, they are analyzing your decisions. So, they understand whether your decisions are the uh, uh, properly uh, uh, the based on the honesty and integrity or it is not uh, based on the honesty and integrity. So, when you are taking a decision which is not based on the honesty and integrity, uh, then you will lose the trust. The another leadership attributes are the dedication is there. In the case of the effective leader is dedicated to his or her charge and uh, will uh, work uh, uh, assiduously on behalf of those following. The leader gives himself or herself entirely to the task when it is necessary and therefore, in that case it is a 100 percent dedication is there. Charismatic leadership, we have talked about the charismatic transformational and transactional leadership is there and uh, this may be the one attribute that is the most difficult to cultivate. It conveys maturity, respect for your followers, compassion, a fine sense of humor and a love of humanity is there. And the result is that leaders have the capability to motivate people to excel and this is a very, very important. What charisma is required? That one can do the x, x type uh, up to the x limit of the job, but when the leader is with him, he, he make the extended work to the y, y level of the jobs. So, that is the charisma is there. Listening is there, leaders listen, this is the most important attribute of all and listen to your followers is there. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, because many times what happens, no, that is the leader is in one direction, is working on one direction and the people, those who are working with him, especially the followers means are his team members, they, they face the different problems which are not seen or they are not experienced, the followers are not experienced for this type of problems. So, what they want? and they want to communicate, they want to communicate with the boss and identify the solution. If the boss is that, that much uh, effective, then definitely in that case he will listen and then he will understand and then he will uh, try to identify the solution to the problems. The leader should have the core self evaluation, what he can do, what he cannot, it represents a fundamental assessment that people make about their worthiness and the competencies there. So, one, one should very clear about the, the competency of own, whether he is competent for doing that job or he is not competent for doing that particular job is there. So, many times people are, are occupy the position, occupy the position knowing 
they did, do not have the competence. If they, they are not aware, that is fine. But if they are aware and still they are uh, uh, that they are not competent and occupying the position, that is wrong. People who have positive core of self evaluations like themselves and see themselves as effective, capable and in control of their environment, then definitely then they, they should be taking care of this uh, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, team, uh, team uh, to lead ahead to achieve the goal. High order concept indicated by the self esteem, locus of control, self efficacy and noticism is there. There is the emotional stability is there. So, therefore, in that case high order concept are the self esteem and we have done the number of uh, exercises and then we have find that is many people they are competent enough, but they are having the low self esteem. So, uh, 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 you will find that is like the Robbins book is given and then uh, you can identify uh, your score and on basis of the score you can judge whether the you are these all personality traits whether you are having uh, uh, um, with you or uh, you are scoring less. If you are scoring less as a leader then you, you can develop that through the training programs. Self monitoring refers to an individual's ability to adjust his or her behavior to external situation factor is there and that that, that flexibility tune up, tune up uh, oneself uh, with uh, uh, the external and in, in situations are there that flexibility is there. Individuals high in self monitoring show considerable adaptability in adjusting their behavior to external situation factor is there. So, if somebody is a high in uh, the self monitoring then definitely he will be great adaptive uh, 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 having the great adaptability also. Highly sensitive to external cues and can behave differently in different situations flexibility sometimes presenting striking contradictions between their public persona and their private self is there and there might be that is a challenging. Low self monitors cannot disguise the themselves in that way. Uh, they tend to display their true risk position and attitudes in every situation. Hence, there is a high behavior consistency between who they are and what they do. And therefore, in that case, it is whenever we are talking about the self monitoring, it is the ability to adjust huh, his or her behavior. And when uh, so, uh, here uh, when there, there, there is a problem or issues are there, then the high behavior consistency uh, will be shown by the leader because he is able to manage uh, internally and externally what is expected from him. Leaders are always having these uh, proactive personality. This is a very strong uh, uh, the attribute of the leadership. Uh, proactive personality identify the opportunities, show initiative, take action, and uh, and uh, persevere until the meaningful change occurs. So whatever the change they want to bring, uh, they will pursue it unless and until it is done. Uh, compared to others who passively react to the situation, sometimes what happens? We want to achieve certain goals and they, they, there are the barriers, there are the oppositions, what people do? A normal person will leave that particular target, but the leaders are the person who pursue, still they pursue. Proactive create position change in their environment uh, regardless of or even in spite of constraints or obstacles. And not surprisingly, uh, they have many desirable behaviors that are organizational covert and they are more likely to than others to be seen as leaders and to act as a change agents are there. And therefore, in that case uh, uh, those who are proactive uh, they, they are having the, uh, the road map to go ahead. Proactive individuals are more likely to be satisfied with work and help others more with their task. So, they are very helpful uh, and for the achievement of the goal uh, largely because they build more relationship with others. Proactives are also more likely to challenge the status quo or voice uh, their displeasure when situations are not into their liking and therefore, in that case it is not like this they, they will be yes boss, they will raise the voice also. And the leadership attributes are the role model uh, that is the live values led by the examples and uh, they demonstrate the integrity support the people and be charismatic and energized uh, keep learning and therefore, these, these traits uh, uh, they, they, they becoming the attribute for the leadership for the others. Inspirer uh, they create, create an inspiring vision and set directions uh, direct emotions uh, energize people and they encourage risk checking and the experimentation is there. There are the enablers conditions are there for the human capital creation help people grow empower others build teams and collaborative relationships and the leverage diversity built synergies are there. 
the achievers are focused on results, be persistent, discover and pursue opportunities, lead change and learn from the feedback is there. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the leadership attributes, these are four, four dimensions, role model, inspirer, enable, enabler and the achiever. All these dimensions they, they have to focus on. As uh, we, we, the leader is uh, developing and uh, growing into the organization and uh, when slowly and slowly uh, he has been recognized uh, into the organization, then definitely he will be having the high achievements and whenever there will be a high achievements will be there, it, 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 it will be the very, very highly inspiring, inspiring and becoming the role model. So, sometimes what happens when he joins? In the attributes, he finds that there are the certain other role models are there, and then he work for with the, those role models. And otherwise, he will be having that particular uh, uh, becoming himself as a role model. So, leadership requirements. Uh, Armis definition of leadership is there. That is the character, presence, intellect, ach uh, achieves, uh, develops, and the leads are there. So, leadership is the activity of influencing people by providing the purpose, direction, and motivation. And therefore, in that case, uh, you will find that is the uh, what what they know and characters and the uh, presence is there. Uh, so, attributes and the competencies are there. So, these uh, attributes uh, uh, that uh, to influence the people uh, that uh, what type of these value systems as I mentioned earlier and their warrior and ethos are there. Their presence is the professional uh, and therefore, bearing the fitness, confidence and the resiliency is there by the arm, uh, uh, just like uh, the army, uh, army leaders. Intellect is there, mental uh, then agility, uh, judgment, innovation and interpersonal texts are there um, as we have seen. And they, they, they achieves. So, that great results anticipates and the integrates that, that, that is the competencies are there. In the competencies, they are the achievers are there, which they develop, uh, develop themselves with a uh, very positive environment and leads the others building the trust, extend influence and leads by the example on themselves. So, uh, these character attributes, uh, then the presence attributes and the intellectual at attributes are there. So, these uh, empathy, warrior, ethos, discipline as we have seen in the previous slide. So, these will be the character attributes are there. Now, uh, now you see that is the this particular character attributes that has to be supported by the presence of attributes are there. That is the confidence, fitness and resilience. And the intellect att attribute will be the mental agility of innovation, interpersonal tech, sound judgment and expertise. Dear friends, what I want to mention here is this. That is, these are these attributes. Can we develop these attributes? Yes, we can develop these attributes. Sooner the better. So, once you know that these are the attributes which we are making you the successful leaders, I will suggest you that is the follow this model and uh, this information and try to be the leader of your own. And when, whenever you will become the leader of your own, then definitely uh, these, uh, these efforts made by these uh, uh, the authors uh, for the mentioning about the character, presence and intellectual attributes, uh, all three and then they will be combining and they will giving you the effective leadership is there. The competencies categories of the leadership requirements model will be uh, that is about the uh, leads the competencies, leading the others, extend the influence behind the chain of the command and the, then the build the trust is there. Uh, now, now, always it has been uh, uh, mentioned that that is about uh, that uh, here uh, that uh, uh, we, we, we have to lead by the examples is becoming very, very important. Uh, the develop competencies are there, and creates a positive environment, develop others and stewards the profession is there. The achieves the competencies that is the gets the results is the single achieves competency and relates to actions of leading to accomplished task and missions on time and to standard is there. So, ultimately what is important is that that achieving. So, leading, developing and the achieving competencies uh, unless and until we do not achieve the competencies, it will not be the uh, giving any results. Uh, as usual, we will talk about the case study Samsung leadership development model. The Samsung have an ambitious and challenging strategy. They are moving from a functional brand to an aspirational brand to achieve exponential sales growth. A key element of this strategy is the new world leadership and the people who can thrive in culture of uh, perpetual crisis, uh, remain agile, execute with speed and innovate in all that they do. Leaders who can deliver through people and teams and work across silos in a global context. Now, this is always uh, been focused uh, that is the leaders who can deliver through with the help of the team by leading the team is there. A tailored leadership journey for all European leaders. The aim is to ensure that the right leadership capability is in place to achieve their ambitions in the 2021 vision is there. 
and uh, you have worked in partnership with the European uh, Learning and Development Team to create a set of leading edge leadership programs and uh, deliver outstanding results. As part of the European talent management programs, we developed three programs mapped to their leadership pipeline. And these are supported by the European HR business partners to ensure on an ongoing personalized leadership development journey is there. So, in case of the podium program, the senior leaders who lead companies or functions, accelerator program, middle managers of departments and functions who manage managers and launch program that is the first time leadership role moving to the getting results through the teams are there. So, in this case study we find that is this leadership competencies, leadership podium program, leadership accelerator program and leadership launch programs are there. Whenever you are having the, this type of the competency domain whether it is a leadership or the business strategy is there, uh, you, you can find out whether the person as, as a uh, leadership competencies as a role as a leader is there or not and uh, the, these are the points which we have talk, talked about especially the self awareness and development uh, or he is having the authentic leadership style. Right? Um, if, if he has that, uh, then definitely in that case he can work as a uh, uh, role as a leader, manager or the core Samsung leadership pipeline is there. And the leadership launch program is there, that is the authentic leadership style continues to be development. The business strategies are environmental change according to the environment, uh, vision and strategies, uh, thinking skills and business opportunities for the innovation and change is there. The competency domains are there uh, which are the business operations, uh, the, uh, again on this uh, all the three four parameters are there. Uh, so, that uh, the competency domain for the leader will be the business operations uh, unless and until you will find that is the leader if he does not have the competency to run that particular uh, uh, the project then he will not be successful. So, he has to make these, uh, uh, these ch changes uh, in the team also if you want to accelerate his growth uh, of the project. Uh, leading others, that is high performing team, uh, he has to create the high performing teams, developing individuals and motivating and inspiring. Here, uh, whenever we are talking about the accelerator, uh, how to accelerate the uh, this program, uh, then what we learn from this case study is that is the build the high performing team, coaching skills, motivating and inspiring others are there. Uh, here uh, the last point is very, very important uh, that is the personal effectiveness in this slide that is about the relation collaboration and the trust. Unless and until there is not a personal effectiveness, then it will not be successful. The effective decision, impact and influence will be important. Uh, so, here this, this building trust right that will create the more and more about the personal effectiveness is there. Uh, as usual you will find this is the research paper, the effects of the core self evaluations and transformational leadership on organizational commitment and uh, transformational leadership of their supervisors organizational commitment is there and uh, here you will find that the methodologies uh, is about the global 500 companies in Korea. And the core, what is the finding? Finding is core self evaluations and transformational leadership positively influence the employees' organizational commitment. So, therefore, in that case, uh, if the leaders, leaders are with the transformational leadership style, they will be able to create the commitment of the uh, employees uh, for the organization. In terms of the effect size, organizational commitment was more related to the transformational leadership than the core self evaluations is there. So, therefore, uh, to, it is the leader's responsibility to be having the transformational leadership for the creating of the employees organizational commitment is there. Leaders articulated the vision and, they, uh, and they promoted the group goals and uh, provided the intellectual stimulations, uh, then uh, they are able to create that particular uh, employee organizational commitment. Uh, since core self evaluations tend to be stable over time, HR professionals need to recruit and select those with higher core self evaluation. HR and OD professionals can help managers change their leadership in a transformative fashion. So, the, the message is the here is that is uh, that the current uh, situation, the leaders are required to develop the transformational leadership style, relating training programs and developmental relationships such as the coaching and mentoring is there. The books which are referred for this particular uh, uh, sessions is that is about the spirit leadership uh, that is by the Miles uh, uh, Mondra is there uh, and the uh, here you, you, you were born to lead, 
uh, then the contrary to popular opinion leadership is not meant for an uh, elite group of people, right? So therefore, every person possesses the potential of leadership. This is the very big statement and in the spirit of leadership under defines the unique attitudes that all effective leaders exhibit explain how to eliminate hindrances to your leadership abilities and helps you to fulfill your particular calling in life is there. So, these are the certain uh, references for the your further readings uh, which you can uh, refer and uh, uh, develop the more uh, uh, con concept as per your convenience. This is all about that is uh, leadership attributes uh, and I am sure by uh, adopting these leadership attributes you will be having the successful leadership. Thank you.